sometimes if you sugarcoat the message, it will never connect where it's supposed to connect. People Let me ask you a question then. Out of mm -hmm. all your moments online this year, and everything that we do is for um, for a positive outcome, what is the one change that you think that you've actually done this year from some of your moments online? Because so everything again, has to have a change, you know. You can't just have a run online. What's the change that you've seen? One right. change that you've seen that you could say, you know something? Yes. Shani, there's so many changes, but even now, people still don't see it. And this is why I'm going to show you now how deep it is. I've said some things before going to jail, right? And people don't remember. People have shot their memory. I was telling people like 2019 <laughs> marks the second rising <clears throat> of the black man, meaning the black race. See, mm. I did warn them that we are going to see things that we have never seen. Things are going to be exposed that have never been exposed before. Now, this is 2020. Look in the business itself. How much secret you see a boss? How much thing? How much people are confess? How much things? Um, the whole world lockdown. May I, may I speak about them thing before? The flooding of Jamaica. I did warn about the flooding. When the snake had climbed up on the light wire and all these things and the, what, the 10 million crab I come out of the sea of St. Thomas. I did warn about all those things. But because Futa don't come and say, okay, this is going to happen on the 7th of January, or this is going to happen on the 10th of November, or it's going to happen 220, or it's going to happen 221, people tend to forget. So if you ask me the changes that have been made, are a whole heap of changes made. All right. Shani B. Me get locked up innocently on the 14th of December 2019. Right? Tommy Lee Sparta get locked up the 14th of December 2020. Same exact date. Same hours of the morning. Really? People don't pay attention to that, right? So, the world lockdown is also one of the changes. All right, life itself changed since my lockup. Think about it, Charlie B. My case now, this is how powerful the ancestors are, right? My <laughs> case now, Zim, would not permit me to be on Jamra Cruise this year. I know there's, no, there's no Jamra Cruz. You mash up Jamra Cruz. No, it's not mashing up. You have to understand the pause of the oh, answer. Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to be on it. You want to be there now because I'm missing no. Jamra Cruz. No, we, we are all missing. But I would have missed it and called for because me not do nothing. I may catch a case for nothing at all. I know only Jamra Cruz. Every single thing shut down in the world. So anything when we did lock up I miss. Because remember say me get lock up December 14th. So I miss the whole season. The high end part of selector life, the whole December, something I miss all of that. See? And here comes 2020 where Mother miss a whole party. My birthday bash did plan everybody, plan and everything shut down. The spirit is not it's not even a joke or a, a, a hype thing. It's just the reality. The universe locked the whole world. Uh, all right. Just look on it, Shani B. It might look like a joke to you, but look on it. Nobody in England is better off than I was December 14th of last year. No, nobody ain't than anybody. Well, then again, you know what? Some of us have kind of like pivoted and did other things and all the rest of it. So you can't really say that. You get what I'm saying? That no, I what I'm saying, what I'm saying if you look on it from if you look on it from a singular scale like me, but when you look on it from a bigger picture, England is now a big jail cell. Where you lock up. You can't yes. leave if you want. You can't come if you want. You can't do nothing. Them allow your time for exercise and go back in. That's what happens in jail. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. No, me. no, no. It depends on how you look at it, Shani. That's what I'm saying. If you look on it. From a from a regular like a dinner class, it's okay. But look on it from a 
telescope from outer space looking down by England. It is a fucking jail. And, the, oh, and many you know what? I was meant to go to my brothers for Christmas. I can't even do that, brother. Okay, like, so I'm saying <laughs> one of the laws that are the quarantine now in England, if somebody come to you at your yard, Zine, if mm. somebody come to you at your yard, only one person is allowed to go to the one person outside the country. Mm. That's like going on a visit in prison. That's like visitation day today. You go out, somebody come visit you. Younger can't see one somebody at a time. Shani, pay attention to me. I stop feeling the comment them. Shani, what's your name? Yeah, yeah, that's up. <laughs> It's uh, just what why you answer question answer the question about one change that you've made via your life. Sir. Me make all the changes. What do you mean? The changes these me I tell you about, brother. Just what I look for my me. We have to stop look for me. We have to look for the changes where the world I make. Fuck you mean change when me make. Change when me make. Let me ask you a next question. I know some other interview on Right, right. Different question now. You always chat about your ancestors. Right. And the more I kind of get in tune with myself, looking into religion and saying, you know what? I'm not even on this thing, like this religion. I was watching a documentary the other day and they was chatting about like, it was Pope John Paul from back in other days, from like some long time ago. Right. And Michelangelo, they were. Um, craft up the imagery of a white Jesus and white God to hold us down. To one of the right, first right. which is had, like, one of the first slave ships had two slaves oh. back to back tie up together. This, that, the other, blah, blah, blah. How do you stay in tune with your ancestors? Because now I'm kind of that spiritual thing there. That's, mm -hmm. I always say to myself that you know what, if if we was in tune with the universe, because the right. universe always speaks to us. And we always say in hindsight, well, wow, you know, say so the world did that tell me that, you know, say so the universe did that tell me that. You seem to be very much in tune with that for time. How do you mm -hmm. how, explain that? All right. You know, so everybody born on a certain frequency, right? My thing kind of weird. Because from an early age, my question the cross and the Jesus thing, right? So like from me about 14 or 13, my mom used to go to Sunday school and them something to him. And oh, grew up. Grew up believing that Jesus and things. Well, the communion, all these yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. So one day, day, one day I sit down and I look into the story of Jesus. So I'm saying, if this person did the most good on the face of the earth, you know, Shani, Shani, listen to me, man. man. I'm listening to you. Lord, <laughs> comment alone, no man, when we are all real reason, man. Uh, comment uh, on destruction, brother. Just uh, make me a reason. You notice me now, look over there, and I'm my uh, life. So uh, listen, uh, because you miss something when me say, because you are real. Zine, watch this. Me sit down and me pray the Jesus story, and I say, the man who did the most good on earth for everybody was murder on a cross. Zine? Meaning, the cross at that time served the purpose of a gun or a knife. It's a murder weapon. See? So all you for you is this. Kill the man who did the most good. And yet still, me I embrace it. Me I tattoo it by my skin. Me I put it by my chin. Me I kneel down and pray to the cross. They never say. Me they never make Jesus the logo of Christianity. You know? They make the cross. So me, as a little youth, I watch the Sydney Portier movie them, and I watch the black movie them, I realize uh, the Ku Klux Klan was the biggest enemy of black people. And me, I put two and two together, and me, I realize the uh, logo of the Ku Klux Klan is also the cross, which is still the logo of Christianity. So how on earth me, as a black man, who is the victim of the Ku Klux Klan, I got embrace the same logo with Ku Klux Klan and Christian, Christianity share. So from this, I start questioning it. This are like 13, 14. Because me put my mother in a, in a the equation. I mean, I say, if Sam crucified my mother on a cross, why the fuck on earth am I going to embrace the cross? Would if my mommy, mother, a, would mommy a Christian though? 
No, but you and my mother do. Out of fear, my mother became a Christian before she did. Out of fear. I'm going to forgive my mother for it because she didn't know better. When my mother sick with cancer, she get baptized while they're on her sick bed. Now, this or no, I ask God to forgive my mother. I'm going to say that with chill bumps for me because then drive a fear in a human being say, if you don't accept Jesus, you can't meet God when you're dead. So that's out of fear of meeting God. My mother became a Christian. My mother was always a rebel. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. My mother was always a rebel. But now we, everybody will know my mother. Jim Carlico, Roman Pepsi. My mother a ramp. My mother go out dance. She love her Alta Nellis and her John Holt and her Ken Booth. You know what I mean? She love Bunty Killer. She love, she love the street. My mother a gangster. Dog. My mother a G. Anybody will know. But when death come up on my mother now, she got start get scared. The fear of not being embraced by God made my mother become a Christian. When at that time she shouldn't do it, can you live your life already? At that time she shouldn't do it, she fuck up. You know, the last, because my mother never learned about the depth of what Jesus and Christianity is. And at the same thing, man, now I can oppose to Christmas and Jesus because I am more knowledgeable. And then he asked me, oh, me get to that calling now. It's because from at age 13 or 14, me drift from the brain lock of Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Then we start to realize that the same Bible, I tell you, say, it's okay. Them say the Bible is the word of God. You know? Shani, these are the mistakes of black people I make. If the Bible is the word of God, you can read something and say, oh, I saw it didn't mean. No. You have to accept it for what it says. You can you can't say, oh, no, man. I saw it mean. And I saw the mean said for God. No. You say, this is the word of God. Me can shave around what God said. Never did you know what God said direct, right? Mm -hmm. There's a part in the Bible where it says, it's okay for a father to sell his daughter into marriage anywhere between the age of nine to twelve for six pieces of silver. Now, which Christian are going to tell me, sir? The God where me serve permit that. That mean me and you not the same God. But what I want to know is how do you tap into this like spirituality thing that you're chatting about? If, if somebody's listening right now and they're like, you know, so I, I, look, I, speak, I, I speak a different way. How do you tap into that? How you tap into that is you're born with certain things that man can't control, right? Like emotion, sensitivity, and love, right? So you have to start pay attention to the, the, the signs and the feeling and the vibe, right? Like yesterday, just yesterday, come and give examples of what it is. Yesterday, my artist girl linked up with me, you know, our promotions. So she there in Florida. So she there for a lot of them. So I'm saying, hey, link up with this person and see if we can make this money. I can. You know, a pandemic, we need the food and the promotions. We do. So I got a link. She sent me an address. See? I put in the navigation. Put the address in the navigation. It carry me on one place. I reach at the gate. Then my message, I say, yo, I'm there at the gate. She said, give me two minutes. I'm going to walk outside and meet him. So I'm going to park over the next side. See? I'm going to park over the next side and wait. She said, I'm outside. I'm nasty. Here. So when we check, my dad, the wrong place. Remember the address? I put in. just copy and paste where she give me. You know. Boom, I come. So now I'm put in. She texts me about the address again, put it in. I drive about 40 minutes to go where I'm there. You know. And then it tell me now, so I've got to drive 54 minutes to go where she did. Because of the wrong address. See? So me, I'm not upset now. Nah, nothing. Say, all right. This thing, uh, that I want bad move. So, probably, 
I just said devil I try to stop it. Because I bam, I put it in the new address. Right? New address said 54 minutes. Check this in the By the time I drive from where I'm there, I go up on the I-95, which is five minutes away, and drive five minutes on the I-95, my tire blow out. One of you understand this. Mm -hmm. One of you get with me, I got to. My tire blow out. This is a BMW coupe, right? Real? The aid not carry spear. So I can't put you here. You're not meant to reach there. I'm not meant to fucking go there. You're not meant to reach there. The ancestors, they must stop me. Brother, I give you a better one than that. You see the day my mother passed? Yeah. The day before, my mother begged me for come fix her computer. I just come off a tour for the road. And in my mother's yard, is a really hard, a real Jamaican household, real Caribbean household. Argument quick for Brooke and them sitting there, people yeah. cussing. <laughs> I, I be a love that way. So I reach, I wake up out of my bed, I reach to my mother's yard. When I reach, my mother tell me, says, somebody come and fix the computer already. I will look at my mother and say, mommy, you know, easy enough. Just jump back in my car and drive off and say, I love you, and God. The next day, I was looking after my you and my nephew. And I ring my brother, I'm going to tell him, say, yo, I'm going to keep the, my nephew for the weekend. Like I was there with his cousin and everything. We take them go to one place for a little box about and them sitting there. When we reach there, so a man come link me. I used to do graphic design and flyers and everything. Yeah. The man told me they more um, bill of flyers. Um, I said, give me the details. The man said, St. Lawrence. Um, St. Andrew, Lawrence Tavern. Yeah. By Oberlin. I guess some my mother come from, you know. You big up, um, Chiching, say, hills, man, the same place, right, you know. Right, from right. Part there. I forgot up in other hills. I, yeah, I man, look on yeah. the man and I said, brother, I thought you was going to give me an address for ours, you know, South London. You give me an address for Lawrence Tavern. You know, say, I guess my mother come from. Yeah. No problem. Get the details, gone on my mother yard. When we reach my mother yard, footer, I was meant to lick my bridge in Rudy Rant to go look for a venue for New Year's Eve. There's me, <laughs> My mother, my grandmother, and the two youth, them in the yard. Rudy called me about four o'clock. I pick up the phone and I fling down the phone and say, You know, I said, I can't bother going nowhere today. Boom. I said, Mommy, you want something to eat? I'm going to go and get something for the youth. Then. I'm going to go, I want to shout. Buy the food for the youth, then come back with the food for the youth. Then. My mother said she wants a party. I'm sharing out the food for her. I just yeah. gave my mother a ball out there. That was the last words I heard from my mother. So on the same day that my mother passed, a random man come from nowhere and come tell me about Lawrence Tavern, St. Andrew. Mm -hmm. And in the day, that same time, I was meant to go and look on a venue. If I never fling down my phone, it would be my grandmother, my youth, and the cousin that would have dead there. My mother sprawled out on the floor. Yeah, you wouldn't see that. You wouldn't dead it. You wouldn't dead it. If I never follow my spirit, because when me I ask the question, you know, I'm already in that place where you're at, you know. I can yeah. see a man that I, ain't, I could I could call a man's name that I ain't seen in three, four years, and look on your right now foot and say, yo, he might go call me. Yes. yes. Black my belly and, and movie star Johnny one night, the man them said they might go to Lex Club. You remember Lex Club over East mm. London? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And dance I keep over there. So we always used to stand up by the DJ box. Which part the um exit was as well, brother. One night, Splacker said, Shani, come where I got Lex Club. I said, Nope, I ain't going no Lex Club tonight. You know, say, Catch our dreams, Splacker. I'm now going to Lex Club tonight, brother. You see, by six o'clock in the morning, this is like mobile around, but I used to have a house phone in my bedroom as well when I used to live at my mother's yard. Six o'clock in the morning, Splacker called me. I said, Shani, you know, say, let me just shoot up Lex Club. I said, is it? Good night. I'm going back to my bed. <laughs> if I don't follow my spirit down, if I don't follow when the ancestors them are talking to me, if I don't pick up the phone and call somebody when them coming on my head, I always say, you know what? If, if you don't listen to what I'm going around you, you're going to lose sight of everything. Shani, Shani. Remember, say, if you get a youth dream of Jamaica, I forget a visa and can travel. I was blessed enough to be able to travel with a career, with a brand. See? So, and I, you know, I have the joy of traveling 
I have the joy of traveling as a superstar. See? So you know, I double the fun, double the excitement, right? One time, when me used to miss flight, I the worst <laughs> thing, I the miserablest man, me cost the <laughs> most. Be a bumbo cloud, be a, me I think about the money where me lose, me I think, a summer brain used to operate. So me used to have a, a, a angry little vibe, like when me not catch a flight, or, you know? Life-changing moment. Me I drive go St. Elizabeth all night. See? So, we I drive when you pass, they on the highway, come off highway 2000, I go up on the main road, so you can turn, go around and kill a fill of them side, but you go straight. So, me I drive, and this truck, brother, bam, 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 one rass with me and him on the road, him fly past me, him fly past him, you know, like, we are, we are car war. See? And like, when I drive past me, I say, follow that pussy wall, you know, I drive. Boom! Wheel jump in our patrol. Tire blew up. <laughs> Pull over. Me have both share the dog. Them in that car with me. Cause them time the way I roll dirty like head mad. Machine in a car. Everything. See? Pull over. Me a the truck driver like a dog. Me angry more. I kill somebody more. You know what me I say? Me just said that pussy all the, the energy just terrible. And the dog then jump out and pull out the wheel out of the back and change the wheel and jump in I care again and I drive go. Shiny be it's when I reach and may pen this away the gas station there. Run a silver cap them leave this up. Let me look at one piece of traffic, brother. And it's this about my may drive up, brother. And the closer may I get to what really I may say one, two, three, four car fling all about the place, bend up, mash up. The truck turn over, the same truck. With me and him, I go neck to neck, toe to toe. The truck turn over, fuck up, about five car. I'm look on it, I'm stop. Right there, son. My life change in terms of how I perceive things. And, oh, look. and that was a I. So, you see if you pay attention to them things there, because if they follow him up, me, for that surely in our life care But here the drama now though. This is where the question gets deeper. Because mm -hmm. what we're chatting about here is like pre premonitions and seeing things in the future and reading what yeah. we want. And if you show that side of yourself, and we've kind of seen it all week, not to go into the stories and what on, but if you follow them signs there, or even if you just go back in the olden days, they would have called you a witch. They can be vampire anything. Because you're seeing things where other people now see, but then they would say you're a witch. Do I hear better than that now? Better than that. This more direct and more plain. And this has since me start empower myself. Start eat different. That's one. Start pray different. That's two. Zin. I stop keeping certain energy around me. Zin, that's true. Who do you pray? Who do you pray to, though? I pray to my people and my dead. No Jesus. Mm. No God. I don't even use the word God no more. I say Almighty Creator. That's what I pray to. Zin, I may have a couple African God's name where I call and I pray different something. Zin, women are got this close by you, sometimes. Some of them people, yeah, them just listen to try fight what you're saying. You understand? So. I shall to be attracted today, you know. Nice and clean, decent conversation. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No mix up around yes, so, The black so is, don't need to rip this motherfucker. <laughs> so what is known as Shani B? May I drive <laughs> from Commercial Boulevard? I may have a bridge in. I'm going to buy clothes from. In thief clothes and sell. And in name Panty Man, see Cause him start off in business selling panty for the woman. Yeah, him start off a sell panty for the woman them. Like him used to get the Victoria's Secret panty them and sell it. But then him expand into getting jeans and shirt and shoes. Years before me come a foreign, he had him thing. But me end up come me, me like support the clutch of them, you know, because when me go into the store and go buy from the white man, it not help my people them. You understand? Mm -hmm. 
So if my people them can get the clothes them and sell me when me like and the money stay in a fill them pocket and that me I do in a business. So me come so now boom and me see him at the stoplight. And I see him carry me there. I stop at the stoplight and him there. Right across the stoplight this one. But him, him have a food in him lap while he drive and him have the ox tail so I eat. And it's like him go so <laughs> drop asleep. Right inside the light. So when the light change green because of bam, but my window them up him no know I mean. I'm a two day on and I jump out and sleep so and start dry. So I'm come at the barber shop one day if you sell me some clothes. Come in have a couple party the weekend and I want some clean thing and I say, all right, come check me. And we buy clothes from him from a family in my Jamaica. You know? Because you know you have to send in thing for the people. Right? So we buy from him, it work out better for me, cheaper. So I'm come at the shop, I buy about three hundred and fifty dollars worth of things from him. And I said to him, said, Bro God, you're sick, you know. You're unhealthy. Let me use a three hundred dollars the layer. Pay the nutritionist to you get your buckler cleanse and get your buckler belly buster and belly big sign. So, you know. See? Mm. Yeah. He said, Oh my God, doctor, no, no, do me. You do me check up, Mr. Brother. A machine, do you check up? I can look. I'm so educated about food and health now. I can look at you and tell you that you are sick. Very sick. And I said, I see you at the stoplight out here. Jump asleep with the, with the ax to you. No, I lie. I said, brother, me not have no reason for that. I saw you. I me too, me and I wake you up by your driver. But you never wind up my window and say nothing to him. He feel like I lie me I tell. See? Anyway, him dead there. Eh? I want me, yo. I want to take my money, more money. Me said, I don't want to take your money. Me just pay for the product, them for you. And you get the product. Deliver your door when you start. Get back to your healthy life. No, no, me I keep my mother memorial at Jamaica. I want to take who want my money? Me I see if we buy the goat at Jamaica and book the son and huh? I said, brother, you see your mother memorial of your kid? You see if you don't start taking care of yourself? I hear your memorial of your kid. You got dead. See? The man take it for a joke. Of course, me give him money. Pay him 350 dollars. Me end up at jail. When me there jail in a March, panty man drop down and dead. Me tell everybody in the shop, say, I got dead. I know, and that I know, that I know, I know, black magic and a food one and nothing. The spirit that tell me, say, yo, I'm sick, him, I got dead. You understand me? I say, it's, 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 it's certain things, you understand me? I say, you that, stop eating them, you stop eating all them kind of sticking there, don't you? Or you stop like, eating them. I don't eat meat, I don't drink milk, unless I am on milk sometimes, mm -hmm. not all the time. Um, none of them stuff there, brother. I don't mean, eat no meat. The only thing I eat are like, See me like fish, and sometimes we consume the lobster, which is still not good, isn't it? Did, did but, you make them changes after you had your strokes? No, I start making them changes before. Come the cut off chicken before, before me even have a stroke. I don't all right, <laughs> Shani B. As I said, the ancestors no, are right. about aliens. It's too early in the morning to tell you about aliens. No, 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 <laughs> but, but Shani B. Shani B. If you are on a certain path, you're gonna know say. Aliens exist. Some people don't know what aliens mean. That's why them laugh at aliens. Alien means not of here. Extraterrestrial. Meaning like oh, we are humans and we are subjected to be on Earth. Anything that is not of the surface of Earth is an alien. If it comes from out of the deep ocean, is an alien. If it comes from out of the sky, is an alien. Anything that is not human and like where well, humans get to work with like cow and them something there, you're considered an alien. That's why when you go to England or America from Jamaica, you're considered a legal alien or an illegal alien. Why do these big, rich, aristocratic people use the word alien if it was a joke term? Think about that. Why are you considered an alien when you come into America? Because you are not of America. You are of Jamaica. In America, so you're an alien in America. If you go back to Jamaica, you're not considered an alien. You're considered a citizen. But you we're talking about that? aliens of the earth, though. No, but listen, what I'm saying to you, Shani, you cannot start in the middle of the conversation. If you start at the front, why was the word alien created? And why is the meaning of alien not from here? It not start on me, Shani, it start way before we born. 
So when the English language that create and never make words, why they make the world alien? And the word means not of here. All right, I'm going to ask you something, Charlie. From the interview, you know. <laughs> why are we now at a nuclear stage and no longer at an atomic stage? Because it was... Explain. When you say no, no. As, in, as in technology. Yeah. We were at atomic. Why mm -hmm. nobody now use atomic again? The live I got done, me I got started back though, Sean. Because it's yeah, very important. Yeah, we're going to have to touch the road. So have yeah, to yeah, yeah, touch the road. We have to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 my presence, we got to pick up, dark. Yes. Yeah.